Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for a new Databricks video. Today's video is about how to run PySpark code using our Databricks cluster in VS Code. There are times that we want to run and debug our code locally from our local environment using our Databricks cluster. There are two ways to do that in VS Code. The first one is by using the Databricks extension and the second one is by using Databricks Connect. In the second case, you have to pip install the Databricks Connect library. Both ways are pretty simple and straightforward to set up. So, let's jump into the demo. Ok guys, so here in our VS Code, I have a Python file and I am creating a PySpark data frame with sample data three columns, code ID region and some sample data and we create a PySpark data frame and we display the results so we import the Spark session and then we create a Spark session here pretty simple code, we just display create and display a data frame so how can we run this code by using our Databricks cluster? the first thing we have to do is actually install the Databricks extension so click on your extensions here, then type Databricks and here install it if you haven't already I have already installed the Databricks extension for Visual Studio Code and once you get it installed you will see this Databricks icon on the left panel before we create the configuration first let's see the documentation what it says about these configuration profiles because what we have to do is to create a configuration profile a Databricks configuration profile contains settings and other information that Databricks needs to authenticate Databricks configuration profiles are stored in Databricks configuration profile profiles files dot Databricks CFG now you can create this dot Databricks CFG uh, file manually and here you have to specify the host, the token, the authentication method and other parameters if you want to specify the cluster ID for example and other things now we are going to create this Databricks CFG file using the v using via VS Code using the configuration that is already provided there but before we want actually the host and the token so in our Databricks workspace First we need the host which is here, this bit here HTTPS etc etc up to .NET and then we also need to use the access token so click on your profile then settings then developer then access tokens you generate a new token generate copy this token into your notepad so you can use it later on back to our VS Code, now we have to click on create configuration and here it will ask you for Databricks host paste the host here and there are plenty of authentication methods that you can use we are going to use personal access token so select personal access token, enter a name demo uh, whatever whatever and paste the personal access token that you saved in your notepad let me do that I'm pasting that here and we should be able to log in to our Databricks uh, cluster workspace actually first and then cluster as you can see here it says created a new Databricks CFG file let's open this file in order to see the, what it contains this is what this dot databricks cfg file contains the host and the token now you can manually specify cluster id and other things but the basic things are the host and the token now in our vs code we have to select a cluster i have already created a cluster in my databricks workspace so we select this cluster we have to start this cluster here if we want to be able to run the code so let's go back here and here as you can see we have this Databricks icon 
first let's wait for the Databricks cluster to start and then we click on Databricks icon here and then we click upload and run file let me check about the cluster status so we have to wait to cluster the start and let's wait for a couple of minutes so our database cluster is up and running you can see the status here as you can see cluster this is the cluster it's up and running what we have to do in order to run this code here and display the data is click on the database icon on the upper right side click on upload and run file and it's going to upload the database asset bundle and it's going to run the code give it a second to upload the bundle and the code and run it so it's running test dot py and here is the data frame this is the data that we want to display and if we go in our databricks environment here you will be able to see the bundle if you open the bundle you will see the test.py file so this is one way to connect to your databricks cluster and run your PySpark code the second way to actually connect to your Databricks cluster is by using Databricks Connect for the Databricks extension for Visual Studio Code. This article describes how to use Databricks Connect integration in the Databricks extension for Visual Studio Code to run and debug individual Python files. You can also allow you to run and debug notebook cells. There is a, here in the documentation you can see a little bit and more details about how you can do that but it's pretty simple so let's go to our VS code and here as you can see at the left side at the bottom it says databricks connect disabled so you click on here and then you create a virtual environment you select your python interpreter it's going to create a virtual environment and then we have to pip install databricks connect and let's wait for a couple of seconds to create a virtual environment install python and all these kind of things as you can see now we are going to pip install databricks connect it will take a couple of minutes so give it a be patient and give it a couple of minutes in order to install databricks connect and use it so now our databricks connect is enabled as you can see here at the bottom it says databricks connect enable so now you can click on the databricks icon and actually use this current run current file with databricks connect and it's going to use databricks connect to run your to run your code give it a second and and here we are we displayed databricks data frame now you can also use this and uh, debug and run it cell by cell etc etc for more information you can see databricks documentation i'm going to put the links of the documentation in the comments okay guys this is it for today i hope you enjoyed the video this is how you can use your vs code and connect to your databricks cluster and run and debug your code from your local environment i hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video please click the like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment and i will see you in the next one thank you